Give an example of two divergent sequences, A sub n and B sub n, such that their product converges. Solution. So let's think. We need two sequences, A sub n and B sub n, that both diverge, such that when we multiply them together, we get a convergent sequence. So let's go over here and brainstorm. So some natural choices for divergent sequences would be something like n. So if one of them was n and the other one was, say, n squared, well, when you multiply these, you get n cubed, right? You add the exponents. And this still diverges, right? This approaches infinity as n approaches infinity, so no good. Another reason that sequences diverge is because they oscillate. So a good example of that would be negative 1 to the n. In fact, if you let them both be negative 1 to the n, these are both the same sequence and they both diverge because as n approaches infinity, the sequence just oscillates, right? No matter what, it's going to be 1 or negative 1, 1 or negative 1. So if you take the limit as n approaches infinity of negative 1 to the n, this limit does not exist, therefore these sequences diverge. But the really cool thing happens when you multiply these together. So if we do that, if we take a sub n times b sub n, that's equal to negative 1 to the n times negative 1 to the n. Then what happens here is you basically uh, add the exponents because the bases are the same. So you get negative 1 to the n plus n. So that's 2n. And 2n is always an even number. That's the definition of an even number if you can write it uh, as 2 times an integer. So negative 1 to an even power is always 1. So this new sequence is just 1. And so if you take the limit as n approaches infinity of this new sequence, which is a sub n times b sub n, that's the same thing as the limit as n approaches infinity of 1, and you just get 1. So this is a convergent sequence. So we have a new sequence, a sub n times b sub n, that converges. So we took two divergent sequences, such, and we found a, a product that converges. So not too difficult. Um, the key is to try to think of you know, divergent sequences that you can multiply that will make it convergent. So it doesn't work if you try to use things that go to infinity or negative infinity, but thinking of something like this uh, seems to be the way to go. I hope this was helpful. Good luck.